guys please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i am on all of the social media platforms below and yeah let's get right into this smoke with me and let me tell y'all this story so no coughing no coughing out the camera Yeah, I'm gonna hit this and I'm gonna get back to y'all. <laughs> okay, so I know, uh, what is we gonna call her? I know, I'm gonna call her what I used to call her, Pineapple Head. I knew Pineapple Head from when we were uh, in, I think it was what, middle school together. Yeah, middle school. I went to uh, Detroit Public School for a little bit. In middle school and i literally mean a little bit like that's when i had met her we used to play the dozens with each other uh, let me just say real quick it's when you know you sit and you talk about each other and because these were my classmates which are kind of like your co-workers you see these people every day dang near Monday through friday like you kind of like they start becoming like your family your friends things like that so <laughs> that's what we used to do we used to talk about each other all the time and sometimes we get along real real good and sometimes we get mm, we be like being a girl oil sometimes you know i'm sure everybody knows somebody like that so for the most part it was always cool though because we never got into any like physical altercations or anything like that so throughout a time like you know with facebook we were able to like stay connected with each other and i was able to see what's going on in her life and vice versa um I want to say, like, in my early, mid-20s, like, uh, me and I'll call the other person Patty. Me and Patty was the other person that used to always hang with us. So it would be me, Pineapple Head, and Patty all the time. We was, like, the three musketeers. Um, but, yeah. So, <laughs> um... We had got together like in my early mid twenties, and we had all went out to eat. Now, me personally, I had a great time. pineapple head. Had um, she 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 had a good time, but things were said about her after us hanging out together, which she relayed to me. Like she had said something to the effect of um, they were acting funny towards me, or I think they were acting funny because they were talking about me. Something of that nature because of a tip. And then she had expressed that she wasn't like really able to afford the outing. So yeah, I didn't really have nothing to say because it didn't have nothing to do with me. You know, like, and I didn't feel no way about it because I was okay. Which is any person when you're okay, something that somebody else is going through, unless you care about them, it don't matter. You know, like you wouldn't want to see the worst happen to somebody or anything like that. But it's like, if, if it's something going on, you know, especially with money, like you shouldn't have came. Time and then we hung out again to the effect of where a uh, pineapple head had came and got me because Patty had a party at her house where her mother-in-law at the time had made this bomb salad. Like, y'all, I would never forget about that salad. That salad was fire but anyways we went to that we got smoked out and everything we had a good time and then after that we just didn't hang out no more because i think i ended up moving or i ended up doing something and i don't know what they what they had going so um like years had went past and like again she would see me on social media i would see her on social media but then i had deleted my facebook that i had had for years like i, I had got an instagram i had created it i deleted my instagram and then i had to get a new one and then when i got this new instagram like i added her because this was somebody that was familiar to me i'm like yes like i need somebody to freaking follow besides stars but she didn't really post a lot you know a week or two like before the end of 2020 we had started talking getting cool and at that time like i was living in hotels with my boyfriend so you know uh because we live in hotels like i was only home on the weekends and i was getting bored sitting there by myself when he would have to go take care of business or be with family or whatever so you know I'm like, you know what? I will be more than happy to hang out with you on one of the weekends that I am home. So that's exactly what I do. I get home 
one of the weekends i hit her up she's like yeah come over i'm like okay i'll get dropped off she smokes i smoke yes getting to know each other you know because time has passed and we've done so many things i went like four or five years have passed since i've last seen her so it's like a lot has happened and clearly because she had a nine-year-old and then she had now had those pieces of red fluff that scared me but um she now had like two additional well three actually she now had three additional children so it's like oh wow you know what's been going on with you and i see you been busy busting it open sis like what's up but we're talking we're having a good time and you know that day goes as that like it's a good ass day but i have to tell you the first like i'm gonna say like red flag that i felt was like okay <laughs> like nah um, for the most part, I'm going to let you guys know, like, I am, I try to be polite because I instantly know sometimes when I say something, you might think or you might misconstrue that and instantly want to fight me. Because when she said what she said, I was like, <laughs> like, nah, nah, you not. <laughs> Y'all know what I want to say. But. During the day while we were hanging out, she was talking about how she needed some money. Now, I had a few dollars, and I had told her, I'm like, you know what? I'll give it to you, you know? Just later on, just let me, you know, just let me do some stuff. I have to do some stuff first, which I didn't have to do nothing. I just, you know, I had just told her that. So, and I'm going to explain to you guys the reason why. So... Now, the reason I decided not to give her the money is because she had let me know that she wasn't responsible with her money. People were giving her money to do one thing and she would do another thing with it. So they let me know, like, just let her do them like that because, uh-uh. Daddy, she was like, I wish I could ask your man for some money. <laughs> and I was like, hmm. Like, that made me feel highly uncomfortable because... I would never come to your man and ask him for anything, honey, unless I was getting the whole shebang. Let's be very clear about that. Um, so when she said that, like, I kind of looked over, like, you know, maybe it is just like an innocent joke, but like, okay. So I really let that go and I threw it in the back of my mind, but as I threw it in the back of my mind, like, y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I started to think about it, like, over the next couple of, like, days, like, I thought about it. And that's when the next time, like, she ended up sharing a story with me to the effect of, I think she was friends with the guy first, and then they end up telling each other. Somehow they all end up getting and becoming one. And the baby mama stopped liking it and said what she said, and, you know, like, things start falling apart. And then she, Pineapple Head, told me, like, yeah, I was sometimes I was still in the way because I felt like they had a stronger bond, you know, than, uh, than me and him, you know? So she would feel a way about it sometimes, which is expected, like, in those types of situations. Like, you will feel a way when, you know, you haven't known somebody as long. Like, you can't, like, really get in on some of their jokes or, you know, get in on some of their conversations because it's something special and it's something so important about having this great relationship with just, like, one person. It's nothing like it, whether it's your man, your friend. Like, it's it's good it feels good to know that you're the only person that truly knows somebody like that. So the guy, like, he listened to his BM. He stopped talking to her. It's like, it was a no. And I'm pretty sure, like, that really hurt her because I'll tell you soon. Um, the next time I come over, like, uh, in passing, like, I'm, I'm there I didn't have like a couple of hours of her, but I'm ready to go because I'm getting sleepy because I'm all super high and stuff like that. And I just, I up and I leave. And I meet this friend, you know, she's, we, I'm, I think I'm sitting there with them for maybe like five, 10, 15 minutes, something like that. And we all have like a brief conversation, like nothing major, nothing really too big or nothing like that. And I go on about my business and I don't really think nothing of the whole situation. But the next time I see, I see them, like, they come get me, 
and she got the girl with her. So that means that I got to get in the back seat. When I get in the back seat, like, it's all the kids in there, all the babysitters in there. Like, we all in there rolling thick as hell. We all like thick as hell. And when I'm sitting in the car with them, like, this friend of hers, like, asked me, like, you want to go turn the trick with me? Like, <laughs> And I'm like, um, like I said, like I asked her a question. I, I can't remember what I asked her, but I asked her something like, you know, like some schematics of it. So she just gets to telling me like this whole big old story and stuff like that. And then we end up dropping all of them off. And then we end up talking and having a conversation. And she says some things to me like, you know, like, I can't believe she asked you that. Like, she shouldn't be asked it. Like, she should only ask people that she know. Like, somebody might be offended by that. Like, just going on about it. And I'm like, you know, like, it, it's not no big deal. Like, I understand. Like, everybody know that somebody needs some money in their pockets. And sometimes how you ask people or how you go about it, like, you don't know. When is it a good time? <laughs> you know, I think that's how some people think. So, that's what she did. She just sprang it on me. Like, boom. So I end up leaving or whatever, and the next time I have to call Pineapple Head, like, it's for me to get away because me and my partner are having a domestic dispute. So I call her, I tell her, like, yeah, girl, like, I kind of need you. I got some gas money, you know, can you come get me? Like, you know, yada, 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 yada. She say yes. I'm like, okay, I got money i got some weed and i'm like and i'm gonna we have some jack daniels honey that's what i really think we had if i remember correctly we had some jack daniels honey so y'all i was I, I hate getting in her car because her car is always so freaking filthy like i hate it i hate it i hate it this is red flag number two for me because <laughs> <laughs> I had already made it up in my mind, you know, like when I go out, like I'm going out to have a good time. I'm not going out to talk about nothing sad. Like I don't want to cry anymore. Like I'm just trying to get over the situation. I'm hoping that things get better because this, this whole situation can make or break me. And she gets to telling me like some really personal deep stuff. And this is stuff I was telling you like that she, that I knew that had hurt her. Like she had had a child. And the father of the child had not come to see the child at the hospital or anything, had not called to check on the child, nothing. So this was hurting her, you know, because a lot of times in a relationship, no matter how we are being treated, sometimes we still think that somebody will think of us enough to do X, Y, and Z. And that's not always true. So she was feeling the pain from that. So... You know, I had thought to myself, I'm like, maybe I shouldn't let her drink because I don't want this to lead to nothing where it gets toxic and crazy for real. Where the police got to be called again and I'm involved for the second time today, that day with law enforcement. But instead, um, you know, we driving around. I think we went and got, we went and got some more weed because I only had like one blunt work. And then, uh... We went back to her house. No, we yeah, we went back to her house for a second. We put up in her driveway, stopped and got something. I think we went to her mom's house, and then we were now just kind of like driving around over in the area by where her uh, BD lived. She pulled up to his house, and she got out the car, and she knocked like on his on his door and his window. And then there was a truck in the driveway and she like, I know he in there. I know he in there, you know, like saying stuff like that. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, I'm not fucking with this bitch no more because I just got involved with the police. He just told you, him and his baby mama just told you that they go, they would jump you. So if you done pulled up over here, you got your kids in the back and I'm in the car, what do you think I'm going to do? Because I'm not getting involved in nothing. Don't nobody need to jump me because I ain't got no kids. And I ain't got nobody blowing nobody up. 
Y'all, I am so serious. Like, I know this is probably really hurtful for her and she really felt the need to do this. But it's like, if somebody shows you something, sis, believe them. Don't keep on playing with them. Believe them. <laughs> Y'all. So when she, like, this is what I'm thinking in my head. Like when she didn't got out and opened the door, I mean, the knocked on the door and stuff like that. They don't answer. She get back in, we pull off, we go to her house. We sitting there talking. And then she gets to saying like more crazy stuff. Like what she want to do, like how she should go back over there. And I'm just like. I, I, I'm texting my man sister the whole time, like, can y'all come get me now? Please come get me now. I am terrified for my life. Come get me now. Because she's going to get me involved in something. And I, I'm just not feeling that. Like, I just want to have a drink and have a good time. I didn't come here for the rest of this. I end up getting picked up. When I go back, everything is fine on my end. Everything is cool. You know, I talk to her. I let her know that. And, you know, we don't see each other. I think for like, I think I end up seeing her the next weekend or not that weekend, but the following weekend. End up seeing her again. And like we chilling at her house. We listen to music. We doing our number thing. We're smoking and everything. And we like, I forgot how it went but she was doing something that i was like that is so disgusting that you're doing that like if somebody blocked me from their phone they don't want to like, change my phone number just so i can try to get in touch with you like i am not doing i see her again then after that i like i just made it from my mind like i don't want to be around her no more like no like some of the stuff that she is doing is not conducive to my way of living and i feel like birds and feather flock together and i'm not about to be caught up in that and what i say about what i mean when i say birds and feather flock together if you're always sad and you're always having problems with your man that that energy is gonna start to rub off on me it is it is and it will somehow some way like the energy just rub off on you and I ain't got time. Like, I don't need to be. And also, what I mean by that energy, like the crazy, the stalking, like you seeing your friend doing other stuff. It's like, this is giving you ideas, baby. And I don't need no ideas. This is nothing crazy because I already be on the loopity loop. One day, she had posted like a thing, a story. She had posted some of her story on Instagram. And when she posted it, it was something about her getting back into nursing school. And I know that's something that she really loves to do and that she had worked really hard to get there, y'all. Like, she went through these people and programs and things like that. And plus, after being, you know, stuck up in the house due to COVID, like, I also knew, I'm like, yes. Like, this will finally give you a time. Like, they'll help you with X, Y, and Z. So, that means you'll be dropping your kids off. You'll get time by yourself. And you'll be doing something that you love. And you can go ahead and finally... Get on to the path of where you want to be, you know? And you ain't got to worry about people, like, talking about you or sneak dissing you and feeling some type of way. That's another thing about her. If I, I, I didn't say this in the story, but when people would, like, post statuses and stuff like that, rather than her just be like, you know, like, go to that person and talk to them, she would always feel like it was, like, it was like subliminal messages at her. And I used to think to myself, like, you can't feel no type of way about nothing if it ain't true. And I think, I think I said that to her one day, like, you can't feel like, can't nobody make me feel nothing if what somebody ain't saying ain't true. The only way I'm going to get upset is if it's the truth and now I'm trying to combat it. Like, that's what I think. But, um, anyways, I had like clapped and I'm going to insert it here, like the message and how it went. Um, I had clapped. Cause I was happy for her, like, yeah, me, like, you're doing. And she sent me a message back, and I just was like, because I knew her and I knew her demeanor, I could literally read this message in her voice. And when I did, I said, I just responded back, like, you know what? I didn't mean to get that type of energy out of you. You have a great day. And I had made up my mind, like, mm mm. Mm -mm. I am never talking to you again because there has never been a time or a reason for you to be rude and or dis be disrespectful to me. Never. 
never i've always been kind to you I was, i've always been uplifting if you've asked me about advice i've been very open to giving it to you if you ask me about something about your kids i've been very open about that like i just like i was just trying to show my ultimate realness because i really be wanting some friends where we actually have a bond but i can honestly say i don't have any friends like that where i have a bond like that because I don't trust nobody. She did that and then I just didn't say anything. And then a while later, you gonna use, if you seen like in the little screenshot and I'll put it again, like if you seen like a long while later, like she just messaged me like, oh, hey, how you doing? And I'm just looking at that like, you're gonna be talking to yourself sis because I'm never saying anything to you. How you were talking to me previously um you could talk to your other friends like that but you will not be doing me that way so you will say that she was like this is story time about how my associate was acting weird like and i don't know why until next time please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel